Attention bargain hunters and savvy savers. From fashion to furniture, leisure to luxury, and a wide range of household goods and tech from the biggest names in retail. Don't miss John Pie's online auctions. View, bid, buy. It's as easy as pie. How did you get to Abraham and how, how, tell us that story? At the time I was playing in, in Tom Mowell, we were kind of pushing for promotion and things and it didn't look like we were going to work because of criteria and things, so I thought, you know, I'm going to have to make the move here before, you know, I'm stuck stuck playing into for Tom Mowell. So, yeah, I got the, I think it was uh, Simon King approached me and just offered me to come down and that was that. So I think since I've met Will, rugby's been a big part of our lives and we've really enjoyed the girls kind of growing up watching him as a family with his mum and his grandpa and I think it will be really sad when Will finishes because we'll miss going to the games together but we can always go down and support Abra Avon as a family anyway. On a normal training day on Tuesday or Thursday I'm normally up about half six. I go in the gym then for about seven till about eight-ish. have breakfast with the kids and sort of thing. They'll be on the bus then. I'm in work for half eight then, lunch about one, back into work at half one, and then I'm finishing at five, straight in the house then. Normally I have a quick bit of food and I'm leaving the house by quarter past five, done the training, and then I'm not home then until quarter to nine. The kids are normally fast asleep then, so I, I do miss a fair chunk of the evening with the kids then. When I'm not playing rugby on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, the other nights normally I'm out with the kids in their sort of uh, activities, whether it's gymnastics, football, and on a Sunday then we'll probably just, find, uh, just share some family time then, go somewhere, go for a walk or go out for the day. When he joined Abraham in his first season, they got to the final of the Cup to play at the Millennium Stadium. And I think this season now, coming to the end, they got there again. So I think that's a really huge achievement for him and the team. Playing rugby definitely has an impact on me, you know, positive and negative. Like, you know, it's lovely seeing the kids come down to watch me play on the weekend and things, and the opportunity to come and see me play in the final. But, you know, it does have negatives, you know, sometimes I miss certain things that the girls go to, like they, they'll go to a, like, a gymnastics competition or sometimes, you know, I can, <laughs> can barely run, my groins are gone or my knee, my shoulders. After a match I'm always thinking, so if I haven't played particularly well I will think about it, maybe struggle to sleep and things. But, uh, you know, if, if it is a good game then I probably will be a lot more positive around the house, yeah. Would you notice that sometimes Daddy's a bit sad when he comes home? Well, he never really smiles, so I can't really tell. I've been at Abraham for 12 years now. I've seen the club improve so much over the years. Like, just, just, just recently, this past couple of years, the, the improvements made to the club, like coaching-wise, and just the things they do off the field, just huge. I met numerous amounts of players, coaches, and friends, really. The, the, you know, the boys I see on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, they're, they're my mates. I, I, don't, I, I don't really see my other friends from school and things. There's been a few games I will never forget in the British and Irish Cup. <laughs> We've had some hammers, but you know that that is that, that is the way it was. Like you know, we were up against some you know, well, semi-professional professional teams, then. and you know, some of those we, we had some right tidings, you know, and that's just the way it was, you know. But then, like I like I said, you know, there's other memories then which are you know so much better, like like boxing against Neath, and we you know we put 50 points in them. You know, it's just those little memories, along with, even the memories, you know, the bad memories, they all add up in the end, and just you know. I'm just grateful for what I've you know, achieved and what, what's happened along the way, to be honest. I feel I'm happy for Will to retire if he wants to. We'd obviously all support him if he wanted to carry on playing, but I think he's doing what he feels is right for him, and I think he's got to that point where he feels he's ready to kind of retire now. I think it'll be lovely to have Will around, but I'm sure you'll be playing lots of golf anyway. <laughs> <laughs>